Hey everybody, welcome back. This is Fully Off and welcome to another episode of Minecraft on the Just Vanilla server. Today I've got to grab myself some iron from the iron farm behind us. I've got to make some minecarts because I'm going to move a few villagers around again. Uh, and we've had the villager breeder working for a couple of hours now, so we'll have a wander over there, see how well it's been doing. In fairness, I know exactly how well it's been doing. It's been doing great, but I want to show you. Reiki. That's brilliant. I've had a lot of very positive feedback about my uh, flying saucer, so thank you for that. I am very happy with it. More so in the fact that it's a really efficient iron farm. I mean, if it just sat there and did nothing, it wouldn't be as impressive, would it? But because it gives me iron as well. Right, so this bad boy's been up and running today now. Wow. I, I, I've already uh, taken three brown coat villagers out of it, put them over there, and I'll show you those in a second. Uh, but we've managed to get quite a few librarians, and we've got a, a, a decent librarian over here. Infinity, not him. Not, not you. Not you. Yes, you, 11. Feather falling two for 11. So that means I can get a feather falling three boot for 22 emeralds. Brilliant. I'll be utilizing him. What are you? You're a shepherd. Uh, I've been trying to separate out the brown coats over there, the librarians over there, and everybody else goes down there um, to a watery grave, unfortunately. Looks like I might get a brown coat out there. This is by no means finished and it's certainly going to be far more automated when I set up the uh, set up the trading hall but for the time being uh, I've had to make one that's sort of rough and ready just to get myself going so we'll see if we can get the brown coat out yeah so I need to get him over here Never got enough rails either. So let's get you. Oh, come on. Pushing villages in. Go the other way, then you pick up a bit of speed. That's it. Beautiful. So, who might the next one be? The next one's going to be a brown or a green, which uh, neither of which are any good to us. So we'll have, yeah, we'll have them going straight down. They're starting to back up as well. They it, they don't off come out quickly. Oh, change your mind, did you? Yeah, this has been it's super efficient. In fairness, I might turn it off for a second. Why are you coming back again? You shouldn't be able to do that. You shouldn't be able to do that. Since villagers have been able to push themselves about in minecarts, it's been causing me no end of grief. Excellent. So he's down there. We'll have a red coat next, the uh, cleric next, probably, possibly. Yeah. And we've got another couple of white coats. I've got to do it this way, unfortunately, because if I stop whacking them, the old system used a block when they grew up, but I can't wait around that long, so I've not been able to do it like that. So now I've just been able to send them down here to, like I say, the Davy Jones locker. Uh, because I don't want to kill them with a sword because that ruins my reputation in the village and then the villagers stop breeding. So I can't be doing that. Right, 
at the moment I don't know whether he's going to be a decent one or not. I'm running out of room for you fellas, aren't I? Let me just get all of these out. Uh, let me turn it off, actually. I'll turn it off. I'll get the rest of these guys out uh, and then uh, we'll have a look at wh what we've done. And I'll, have a, I'll just have a shifty through all the trades as well. Okay, so we've got those little fellows out and I think only three of them went down there. Got a couple of farmers out of it. Or a farmer out of it and a couple of, of white coats out of it. Uh, I don't know whether I showed you these guys last time either. Uh, Curse of Binding. Oh, actually, I wish I'd have known about you before I put you there. Oh, you might have a decent trade later on. 12 for Aqua Infinity. I don't think I've traded. Actually, that's very good. 5 Aqua Affinity. I've not traded with any of these guys yet properly. So their first trades are the only ones I know about. That's not bad. Fortune 3. Quite expensive. Fortune 118. Feather Falling 2 for 13. Mm. Protection 4, 29. Very expensive. I'm breaking 2 for 16. Not good enough because I can get them from fishing. Infinity 90. Nope, fishing. Feather Falling 2, 11. Brilliant. I can't seem to get a Feather Falling book from fishing. I don't know whether you can, uh, but I, I've got a double chest and a bit full of books. Uh, and not one of them is a Feather Falling. So I'm thinking that you can't. So he, I'm going to utilise you 22 for a Feather Falling 3. Definitely, sir. I should co co cartographer. You're gone. Cartographer, you're gone too. A farmer and a shepherd. Brilliant. Well, needless to say, the quad pod is working like a charm. How many times in this series have I said working like a charm? Probably because at the moment everything seems to be working like a charm. So let's have a quick shifty over at the the new farm that's starting to take shape now. And you might remember in the last episode I told you it's going to be a big cylindrical building. Uh, that's the first floor being for wheat using mine rails on the bottom. That's working very well. I've stuck another farmer in there as well because one farmer on his own couldn't seem to keep up. So I've stuck another farmer and filled him with seeds, thrown him in there. He's doing a great job. They're working like a proper little team. On the second floor now, first floor, sorry, ground floor, first floor. On the first floor now, we have a couple of farmers. They're not farmers. I think one's a Fletcher, one's a one's something else. I can't remember what they are. Uh, but we've got the two of them working in unison um, to harvest carrots. Uh, and they use a fantastic mechanism. I'm a mechanism and I'm mechanic not a mechanism fantastic mechanic that I'm really pleased of with can't get my words out today uh, basically to for a crop to grow uh, it needs a couple of things it needs to be on farmland it needs to have an air block above it and it needs to be on a block that has got a light level of eight or above now I'm using utilizing that mechanic in the fact that those two blocks there where the farmers are standing now and I'll call them farmers for the sake of calling them farmers because they're farming those two blocks they're standing on have both got a light level of seven and I've got the lights placed in a strategic way that those two blocks there have got a, everything else is is lit up enough for crops to grow but those two have only got a light level of seven so basically when they try and plant onto those uh, onto that farmland when the block is then updated it spits the crop out because you can't grow crops on anybody who's tried to grow crops underground. That's what happens. You probably plant it and then a couple of ticks later it gets spat out. Now if we only had one block there, they'd be able to plant on there and I might be able to show you when they're not about. Because it is quite interesting. They're not going to move away. Are you going to move away as well? They'll always try and plant on there. It's, it's another brilliant feature about this farm is that they will always keep coming back there because they'll always want to keep replanting on that bit of farm uh, on that bit of land go on you go away go away for two minutes go away and farm something for a second oh you're not going to are you oh you are right so if I plant on there now that won't update until the game sends it a random tick a random block update 
See, that won't automatically spit the crop out until that block gets an update. And because there's a block next to it, if I plant something there, that updates this block and it spits the carrots out and they get sucked into a minecart hopper, which I'll show you upstairs because we're going to do the same thing for the for the potatoes but basically these guys run around filling the in inventory with carrots and, and come back here to try and plant on this land and they never will be able to because as soon as those blocks get updated and they update each other which is the reason for putting two side by side is so if you, you could get away with putting the one but it would have to wait then for the for the game to send it a, a random tick to update it if the two are side by side they update each other which means you're continually getting updates and the, the, the farmers are continually replanting the crops. Very, very clever. I am super pleased with it. So basically, I'll show you how it works here. Got myself a dropper. There, I'll punch this out so we can see down, but I'm going to put it back again. But the, the center, no matter how high this building is, the center is going to be left completely hollow. All the crops are going to fall down onto the uh, onto the rails at the bottom and get picked up by the minecart that's running around at the bottom as long as that keeps working. So we're gonna, gonna need a hopper, gonna need a dropper even in the right place to start with. We need a dropper there, that's gonna spit anything that goes into it into the into the hole. Gonna need a couple of of droppers, of hoppers, because that the uh, uh, the farmland that's got a light level of less than seven is going to be above it. We need to put a couple of blocks around it. This is where the hopper minecart is going to sit. And it's the hopper minecart that can suck the crop from underneath the... Uh, from underneath the soil. I'm sorry, I'm talking again while I'm trying to concentrate and it's, I can't do it, can I? All right, so I'll have that there and there. I need to get a hopper minecart onto this. So let's make a hopper minecart. And we need to put down some powered rails to put the hopper minecart on. The reason I'm using powered rails and not normal rails is I can push it very slightly. With normal rails, if you push it slightly on normal rails it just whizzes off but on uh, on powered rails it doesn't and we can drop that right in the middle that'll now suck items from that block and that block once i've forced them down with a piston so we need to put some blocks in there and there Do I need another one? I need another one. And then we need to get a piston in there. Like that. And then a button. And force that bit of dirt down on top of the... Uh, on top of the minecart. You can't just put rails on top of the hopper and then a minecart on top of that. Uh, and then try and force it down because the rail stopped the dirt from going down but because there's only a minecart underneath it the blocks will go straight through it you can hit that tick every time that ticks that means that a carrot or something is going into the the dropper below and being spat down into the onto the rails at the bottom so it's pretty effective and efficient once it gets going. Right, we'll pick that up, pick that up. Now why didn't that go down there then? That's interesting. Give that a go and give that another go then. Did I forget to do that? Brilliant, so now anything that goes on to that block and that block, that one and that one, is going to get sucked through into the hopper minecart. Uh, what have I got loads of that you can... 
See, just go straight through. Brilliant. Uh, consequently, to go down into those dropper uh, hoppers and then go into this dropper. So here we're going to need to put a little clock mechanism. This is going to be surrounded by blocks as well. And that way nothing's going to fall out. We need a comparator and a repeater. Comparator to pull the signal. Repeater to boost the signal. Redstone dust to connect them both together. And then, actually if I do that on the other side, and then run a line of dust like that, that should now spit anything out that gets dragged into this, uh, into this, yeah. gets dropped onto those two uh, pieces of farmland there, which is what the guys are doing downstairs with the carrots. So that's going to be turned into farmland and they're going to try and, uh, they're going to try and plant onto it. And it's going to spit it out into the dropper. Brilliant. So now what I need to do is uh, fill this with soil and arrange where the water's going to go. Um, once we've done that, we can start getting the farmland planted and ready to accept the potatoes. But we won't do that today because I, I bored you with that yesterday. Uh, sorry, I bored you with that the... Uh, the other day, when would it have been? Saturday. What I think we'll do today is run off and find something far more interesting to do. Okay, so I've knocked myself up a little potion brewing stand, then I've got myself some night vision, I've got myself some water breathing potion, I've got myself some milk. I wonder if you can guess what we're going to do. Uh, I'm going to attempt to get rid of uh, get get rid of the elder guardians and right, see if we can get into the get into the temple uh, at least through the top of it anyway I don't know whether I'm going to get a chance to do it put those boats here to catch a guardian so far I've not been able to do it all right we're in so if I have my night vision, night vision. Let's get in there and beat him up. Come on. Not worried now I'm in. It can uh, give me mining fatigue for days for all I care. Brilliant. So we're in. Uh, now I need to find the, the other two fellas, don't I? Hopefully I won't need to mine anything. I've got my slime blocks to build a wall if I need to because slime blocks you can insta mine using your fists, I think. So I don't have to worry about being trapped in. Oh, there's the other one. There's a big fella. We've had um, remarkably few guardians. Ooh. Oh, there they all are. They've all turned up. Well, they're all outside anyway. Brilliant. Two down. Two down. The other one's normally right on the other side of the of the temple. Oh, here we go. Here we go. I'm surprised it took them so long to turn up. That's where all the gold is, by the way, in case you didn't know. It's all in there. Right, it's down here. I've been in that many ocean monuments. In fairness, in my other... In my other world, I actually made my base out of an ocean monument. There he is. If I could drink the potion, I'll get through the wall here. Ah, oh, it's taken off my... Ah! Oh! Taken off my other effects. 
brilliant. Right, so I need some. Let me get out of his way. I have my potion of night vision. Potion of water, because it takes the, the effects off. As soon as I drank the milk, it uh, took away the, the other potion effects. Oh, I can't get in. Darn it. Maybe I'll just have to... Oh, wait, it's not done me. Oh, that's excellent. That is me expecting to have lost the instamine, and I haven't. Because he's not giving me... Not attack me yet. Come on. They don't have power... Don't know if I have a kick. The thorns as well. Oh yes. The temple is ours. Right, now I've just got to make my way out without getting eaten. Actually, I should be fine now because I don't have to worry about them... Uh, giving me mining fatigue anymore. Well, I've spent hours, well, I say hours, I've spent about half an hour now running around, digging through walls, robbing banks, all whacked on my Scooby snacks, and I haven't found a sponge room. Now, not, not all of them. I've, I've found temples in the past that have had massive sponge rooms. I've found temples in the past that have had no sponge rooms, and it looks like this one is... A sponge, a uh, sponge roomless temple. So what we're going to do, I think, is is cut and cut and run while we can. I think I might even have to leave my boats. Like you wouldn't believe. So we'll leave the boats. However, we've got ourselves a, a temple. Now it's ours to do with as we please. And we've caught, actually, I'm just about to go, and we've got a uh, guardian over there in that boat. I'm going to go and catch him. Actually, I'm not going to go yet. Let's go and get a name tag because I promised Lauren a, gu a guardian. And if I can get a name tag and get it named, that'd be brilliant, won't it? Is that my little Lauren name tag? It is my little Lauren name tag. I've even got a name tag for it. I'll stay in the boat forever then. Got a couple in there. Brilliant. I knew it would work eventually. Right. I've got him. Yeah, I've got him. He's in my boat. Yeah, I know. You can squeal all you like. Come over here. You might be able to uh, do some ink, foam, ink fishing for me. Squid fishing. Yeah, go and whack me. See if I care. There it is. Little Lauren. So, Lauren, if you're watching, we've got you a guardian. Now, in theory, that shouldn't go anywhere. Um, well, it shouldn't go anywhere because I've, uh, I've name tagged it. So there you go, little Lauren. So we'll try again. Thank you very much for watching, everybody. It's been brilliant having you along as usual. If you have enjoyed the episode, please don't forget to leave it a like. It really does mean a lot. And if you've loved it, don't forget to subscribe for future videos. This is Fully Off with little Lauren. And I'm out of here.